Welcome back to the channel, everybody. I uh, wanted to show off my cool little keepsake box that my, my buddy Jim made for me. Uh, and uh, he's, he's actually considering making these for others who are looking for exactly such a box. Now, you might, you might think that this is just a regular keepsake box, but it's actually quite special. Uh, but today, I'm going to show you the box, and I'm also going to show you a small addition that I made to it. Mainly the fact that it is locked. As you can see, I can't open this box. It actually opens this way, as you'll see in a second. And there's no visible locking mechanism on here. That's because the lock that, it, um, that I've installed in there is an RFID lock that resides inside the box. So we're gonna hold this here. And that opens like so. So this is the actual lock body. And this is the, the latch piece that goes in there. As you just heard it, that, that actually um, um, relocked again. So once I put this back on, and I didn't do the best job of, um, yeah. So now it's locked. As you can see, I'm like lifting the top and it's not coming apart. You notice me punching it only because I, I, could, I could have getting a, I could have got it a little bit, um, lowered so it would latch a little easier but i actually kind of like this idea that i have to kind of give it a little nudge that isn't how the lock works the lock actually works perfectly fine this isn't the first time i've used this lock i've used it another time i will leave a link below uh in the description to this lock it's on amazon it is super cheap um it's less than 20 bucks i i don't quite remember i want to say it's like 10 or 12 bucks or something like that but it is a uh, really neat device. It comes, uh, you install four AA batteries in here. And then the trickiest part is getting it so that it is uh, the perfect distance from, from the opposing surface, right? Because that's really important. You see this part right here? This part needs to latch inside the locking mechanism. And if you're too far off, like you have a little bit of leeway, if you're too far off, you won't be able to do it. So what happens is it's got these two little screws here and on the inside, on the inside here on this wall, you'll notice that a little back further, you've got four, four screws here and, and the, uh, the battery casing is right there. So you can uh, change the battery and the reset button is uh, inside here. There's really no way to override this lock easily from the outside without the key fob. And it comes with multiple key fobs you can program and whatnot. It also has, if you focus inside here, it also has this little wire dongle where you can actually uh, wire in an external power source if you wanted to. I've never done that because the batteries actually seem to last a quite a long time. And uh, yeah, uh, programming it is super easy. You just press that little reset button. You, you, uh, you wave your uh, key fob in front, which looks like this, and, uh, and it opens up. So uh, with that said, uh, this box is going to be used. Uh, it's the exact dimensions for storing uh, currency notes. If you're into currency notes, um, that's what I intend to use this box for. If you have graded notes, you know that they have a very specific dimension, usually from PCGS or um, uh, the other, uh, you know, um, uh, grading companies, they usually have like a, I don't have one to show you right now in front of me, but they fit in here perfectly. So, and this is a super cool box. It has a really amazing live edge at the top that, that he uh, fashioned for me, these beautiful box joints and, and just, just an incredible, these, these, uh, these hinges, check these hinges out. They're like super neat hinges. Um, and, um, yeah, just very happy with this box in general. But today I just wanted to kind of show you this uh, this locking mechanism, which I absolutely love. Um, yep, you can see. And what's cool about it is no one can figure out how to unlock this box if they don't know that you're supposed to wave an RFID uh, uh, fob in front of it there. So that's it for today. Link below in the description for the, for the locking mechanism. And if you're interested in a box like this, um, message me and I will, uh, see if Jim would, uh, make you one. Um, he makes these out of, uh, wood that he has in his, in his own property and his neighbor's property. So these live edges actually come right out of, uh, trees that he's chopped down. Um, and, 
They're, they're absolutely beautiful. It's such a cool box. Thanks for tuning in, guys. I'll see you on the next one.